Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today I'm bringing you an early look at an upcoming Warhammer 40k 4x game, Gladius Relics of War. Full disclosure, the developers over at Proxy Studios and the publishers at Slytherin Limited were kind enough to send me an early review copy, but as you know, that doesn't really change my opinion on things. And I'll be playing through the game, reflecting on it, and potentially writing up a review for release later as well. The game itself is coming out on the 12th of July, and if you like what you see, it's 10% off right now, and you should consider picking it up through the Humble Bundle affiliate link I've got down below in the description, or under the eye at the top right corner of the screen. If you buy it through there, you help charity, and and you also support this channel at the same time. I'll also be including a link to Steam and GOG in the description down below as well if that's your preferred method of purchase. Enough of an introduction, let's dive right into this. I've been waiting for a 4X 40k game. Uh, I'm really excited for what Gladius holds for us. Now I did have access to an earlier build earlier, so I'm a little familiar with some of the systems, uh, and we'll be learning some of them as we go along as well, because the earlier build only had access to Space Marines, and to be honest, I'm kind of tired of Space Marines, especially when they're decked out in blue. So we're going to be changing our faction, fear not, the title has probably already given it away, but I just want to go over the fact that there are your kind of expectable um, options when it comes to building a world in this sort of a game. Uh, we will be keeping our turn timers to none, of course. Quests will be on, I'll explain that in a bit as well, and uh, everything else will... I mean, leave as is. Leave everything as medium. Let it all randomize. Uh, difficulty is going to be medium as well. Again, I'm not super familiar with this game, so let's not destroy our first playthrough. Keep the world size medium too. Recommended for four players, so we'll see all the factions, hopefully. And a game speed, we'll set it to fast, because let's try and get as much as we can before release. I might live stream this. I might uh, just have a let's play or two. Let me know what you guys would like to see before and after release, so we can figure something out. Now, Let's change our faction. Each of these factions has their own like pros and cons. You can take a look at them. They're on screen right now. And again, if you looked at the title of this video or you're in our Discord or you know me and are a subscriber for a while, you'll know that I am partial to the Necrons. I think they're awesome. I think they're super cool. And I'm very excited to actually be playing as the Necrons here. So you can see on screen their abilities and, and what they have. We've got a little story here as well that gives you the past of the Necrons, where they came from, their, you know, war, their 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 history, which I, again, I'm a big fan of. So if you're not already familiar with that, we can go over that some other time. Right now, though, like I said, I want to dive into this. So no teams, normal difficulty. I'm going to keep myself as immortal over here, which is, again, standard. The way this works is you're actually assigning buffs and debuffs to each faction depending on what this is. So you can actually give yourself buffs as well to like uh, morale and stuff like that when you're on the field. So we're gonna stick to immortal here and these guys as well, we're gonna stick to normal. Let's actually assign, to make sure that we see a little bit of everything, let's assign the AI, its roles. That'll make things a little bit more fun, I think, so we can see some variety, spice of life after all. All right, let us begin with this 4X game now. It's, uh, it's time to start the Necronicles of this world. For eons we waited. Waited for new life to cover our world. Life weak with the warp's taint. The time was ripe, ripe to wake, to finally defeat the Old Ones, to take the galaxy for ourselves. Our old enemies left us a gift, one that tore the planet apart and trapped us here. This is a rude awakening. But this planet shall learn to fear the Necrons again! All right, I can't wait. Uh, thank you for camera tips and all. So these tips are going to be popping up periodically. I'll skip, I'll be skipping most of them, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, so here we are. This is Gladius, Relics of War, and... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little giddy still of the fact that we're playing as, uh, as Necrons in a, in, a, in a 4X strategy game. So, we've got our warriors. We So, here's the thing. Gladius is actually extremely punishing if you don't stay wary of the, air quotes, barbarians in the world. Um, 
Right. Uh, so I just have to make sure that I keep my units together because it's not like one unit can actually take out an enemy, uh, air quote, barbarian unit. You'll see what I mean as we get there. But for now, let's go exploring a little bit. Let's make sure our rear is covered over here in this corner. So I'm going to send my Necron warriors down that way. Uh, let's get you moving forward. Let's not get cornered by like... I'm not going to reveal what any of the enemies are until they pop up. Right, so again, playing as the Necrons, one of my limitations is I can only build cities on Necron tombs. Uh, so you can see a Necron tomb by the green glowing sort of... Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. The green glow coming out from the ground. Look at that. Look at that Kadoptic spider, though. Look at that. I'm sorry. It's nice to see your uh, tabletop models come to life. Uh, we're going to move the warrior, these warriors into the uh, Promethean relay pipes that should actually secure the resource there. And you can you know, re re secure resources to obviously help in various ways. This will give us energy buffs, for example. And I don't think I'm going to spend time roaming around looking for another Necron tomb. We're just going to awaken this one here. So my Canoptic Spider, let's get a nice view of you doing this, shall we? Uh, let us found city right here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so again, if you're familiar with 4X games, there is, uh, well, 4X stands for, uh, oh God, if I'm remembering this right, it's explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. If you ask me, a 40K game should be 5X instead because you got to throw in the Xenos in there as well. Now, with the cities, obviously, you have to build buildings you have to uh, improve your uh, by building buildings you improve how much resources you're getting you use those to you know get units things like that you, you use resources to build buildings as well you have to research things so again if you've played civilization you're going to be very familiar with these things and i'm going to assume that most people are familiar with how a forex game works let me know if i'm wrong to do that and i'll be a little bit more detailed uh in future uh future episodes all right Let's check our research over here. And the way research works is there are multiple tiers going down, getting you more and more, you know, equipment, weapons, units. There's a lot of technology to research, which is great. I like having sort of variety and choice. And the way the tree actually works is you have to research two things in one tier before you unlock the next tier. So what we're actually gonna do is uh, in tier one, the first thing I think I wanna get is the Royal Pyramid. So we can start getting uh, heroes and generating influence and loyalty. Uh, influence is important for some higher tier activities and stuff. So let's get the Royal Pyramid happening first. And I think the next thing we'll do is get the Hypostyle Temple just to get some ground vehicles out there. Um, oh, I'm so excited to explore how the Necrons are represented in this uh, in this 4X kind of world. All right, we can skip all the tutorial stuff. Thank you very much. Yep, 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 I'm aware. Thank you. Uh, can I... I actually can't build anything here, can I? Well, that's too bad. Let's acquire a tile then. Uh, get one where we can actually get some building slots. So you'll see the numbers around these, like these little numbers over here. That tells you how many building slots any one of these spots will have. And then you can also see how many, like how much ore or energy or research you're going to be getting. So let's pop in over here just so we have three building slots and a little bit of a research buff. And we'll move up over here after that, I think. So let's acquire this tile. It'll take two turns. And uh, let's exit the city. And let's see, what else have we got? We've seen this already. Oh, thank you. Uh, Wireweed, Necron Tomb, and Ruins of Vol. We should capture that before somebody else does. Only the first person there gets the benefit. So that, that's the turn. And we have our first exposure to Crew Towns. Okay, I'm glad I got the first shot off there. We're probably not... I don't know if we'll be able to destroy them. Uh, quests and Victory. Okay, so I can skip the tip. But basically, quests are an alternate path to victory in this game. Uh, you can win by destroying the enemy factions. That's kind of the standard way to do it. Or you go through the quests and follow a story, which is like a, it's a written story for each faction, which I think is a cool touch. Uh, let's follow the quest, at least for now. I'm going to read out chapter one, Scourge of the Old Ones. As the proud leader of a Necrontier dynasty, you'd never known defeat. Never until your people met the Old Ones and dared to attack their star-spanning empire. Your dynasty had been on the front line when the war with the Old Ones started, and you were some of the first to face their wrath. Your fringe worlds were scoured and your core worlds besieged for generations. When the Catan called the Messenger, and now the Deceiver, promised your immortality through biotransference into undying machine bodies, you snatched at it greedily. 
Later, you betrayed him and his kind, shattering them into Catan shards now used as weapons. To no avail, sadly. Though your new soulless bodies were nigh indestructible, even as their empire collapsed, the old ones encircled your crown world and used their uncanny powers to trap you within it, driving their warp technology into its surface, binding you to the depths. You retreated to the underground stasis tombs that Zarek, the Silent King, had ordered constructed and waited for the final assault, which never came. Eventually, you slept, awaiting the Silent King's call. Now, 60 million years have passed and you've awoken into chaos. Signs of battle between the Old Ones' humanoid creations litter the surface, as do the ancient enemies' traps. These devastated your people upon awakening, leaving a few surviving tombs widely scattered. Through the warp storms, you can hear nothing from your overlord Zarek. Where are the Old Ones? Who won the war? Is this another trap? Where are your Catan gods? We must investigate, cautiously. Our first task is to quickly wake a cohort to defend against the Old One's forces. So you'll see we've got some objectives here. Construct a summoning core, produce warriors, and invoke rapid rise on warrior production. Cool. Okay to that. We'll get 50 energy as a reward there. Um, so again, I imagine everyone who's watching is familiar with Necron lore or with 40k lore. If not, let me know. But basically what happened was over the course of... Uh, well, let's deal with this situation first. Now, I could fire from a distance. As you can see, I have range, but because I've got a rapid fire piece of equipment over here, what I can actually do is if I move in, you can see it's listed under traits. If I move in, I'll deal double damage. Sorry, I was hesitant there because who knows what else uh, might be over here. Let's fire away and you'll see we can destroy it. So fire away, down with the Coot Hounds. I'm glad I got the first hit there with Overwatch. And over here, let's head towards the Ruins of Vol. Let's avoid the Wireweed. That will cause us damage if we end a turn there. Um, and so, as I was saying, yeah. So, the Necrons, uh, they, were, they were a people, so to speak. And they ultimately basically made a pact with the devil. I'm super summarizing here. Made a pact with the devil that granted them immortality, but in mechanical form. So, sort of a, a gift and a curse at the same time. Um... Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Sorry, it keeps pouring out all these tips. Uh, now, that gift slash curse was negotiated, or I guess uh, contracted by the Silent King, who after these wars, again, there's a lot of detail there that I'm kind of like glossing over, but after these wars, he decided to just kind of disappear. He just went off, uh, which I always found strange. So he went off after telling after uh, disconnecting himself and removing all the orders that were given to the various dynasties that when they rose they would all have different things that they had to do different commandments different rules to follow but he left and I guess all that stuff dissipated with it um, and so everyone like it's like all these all these dynasties now rise up from the ground when they when time comes to awaken but they're not coordinated like they were supposed to be when they went to sleep so a little bit of a, a very quick explanation I guess that was, that was probably more confusing than than it was clarifying but let's get ourselves a summoning core as for our objectives build it over here now again you can uh, uh, you know let's acquire another tile at the same time perhaps we can get two more slots over here and increase our ore energy and research rate so let's get this happening uh, at the same time ish we'll queue it up cool their notifications and Let's see, what is, uh, what's the plan here? Yeah, let's keep clearing down over here, and then we'll move up and explore what the AI is up to, see how close we all are to each other. Um, but yeah, that my explanation was probably more confusing, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that has changed uh, in the various editions. I, unfortunately, uh, so I know nothing about 8th edition, just a heads up. If anybody in the comments knows about 8th edition lore, 8th edition information, share it. I'm curious. I've been keeping myself... Uh, away from... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Alright, we're okay. I've been keeping myself away from 8th edition because I've been told that uh, there are some games coming out later this year, uh, such as Gothic Armada, that I intend to cover that are set in the 8th edition, and I'd like it to come as a surprise, to be perfectly honest. Oh, crap. Oh, this is not good. That was a bit more damaging than expected. Research completed. Royal Pyramid. All right, excellent. We'll get that done soon, but first, I think I should fall back, actually, just to be safe. It'd be, it'd be shameful to lose a unit this early. Let's pull back to here. 
And over here, we can destroy this, no problem. So fire away. And... There we go. I should have pulled back even further. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, this unit will probably survive. We're a bit hardier, but uh, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like how close that is. They, they don't mess around, these Coot Hounds. And they're a more dangerous air quote barbarian type units as well like i guess local flora and fauna all right let's get that hypo style temple coming in i think yeah let's go with that and over here we've got okay two more turns until this is done and i guess i could rapid rise there we go one turn we'll rapid rise the warrior production as well as per the requirements okay clear notification and the turn yeah, so I've been, uh, as I was saying, keeping myself devoid of 8th edition knowledge. If you know things that you think are going to be relevant here, let me know. I'm pretty sure this is based on 7th edition. I'm not 100% certain, I'll be frank. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's pop back into the city and let ourselves heal up. We'll let our reinforcements arrive as well and we'll work together. Looks like we've got water over here, so nothing to worry about unless there's some waterborne... Uh, locals that I should concern myself with and let's get ourselves raising some warriors now Here's what we'll do. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm aware. Thank you uh, Can't actually use this because I don't have enough influence damn it. I shouldn't use it up here. I still wouldn't have enough It'll take It'll take a while before I have enough influence to actually get this going Which is fine. I guess I could cancel acquiring this tile. I would like the research buff though. Well, okay, let's cancel this for now, and let's get ourselves the Forbidden Archive over here. All right, cool. Clear that, and the turn. Now, ah, more Crute Hounds coming in. I don't think they're going to be a problem. All right, excellent. Hypostyle Temple completed as well. Research is going really fast. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of the fast uh, speed of the game. Let's get you guys to hold position until healed, choose our research, and now you can see I've got Tier 2 available. Tempted to get uh, Canoptic Spiders so that we can roll out and look for more tombs. That's probably pointless until we actually find some tombs. So instead, let's get ourselves. Uh, let's see. I'd like to get some Tomb Blades out there sooner rather than later. Let's get Shelters first because population limits are going to... I mean, they're not going to be a problem soon, but you do have to keep in mind... Keep in mind your population limit, how quickly it will, you know, level up, how quickly the city will grow, and you don't want to bottleneck yourself over there. We're good, we're good, and that turn. So the main reason why I want to live stream this, uh, rather than just play as VODs, I'm not sure yet. The thing about, thing about live streaming is that my schedule is a mess. But um, with 4X games, I find there's a lot of downtime when you're just organizing, moving, managing, and uh, it'd be nice to talk lore and and plans with chat. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Let's keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Want to get rid of those coot hounds before anything dastardly happens. Let's move up over here. We'll move down next turn. And this city can start building... I'm wondering if we want to build something else over here. Hmm. Is that a wasted spot? I mean, it's just gives this just gives a plus twenty percent research buff, so might as well get the hypostyle temple in here. It'll take five turns, so it'll take a while, but at least I'll start recruiting faster. One more turn until we get another set of warriors, so let's end the turn here. All right, all right. Let's get you moving in closer, so slowly. Let's move you over first. Let's move you down to here. All systems are operational, you bet. Oh, great, there's two sets of Coot Hounds. I messed up. Oh, that was not... This is not good. Let's fire on these guys. It's the same, but let's fire on these guys so that these guys will be able to follow up. And hopefully we'll at least destroy one of these units of Coot Hounds. Oh, really? Don't want to just end up in the wire weed. That's a terrible idea. I mean, that's all we can do. Fire away. These guys will take a little bit more damage, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. What have we got going on over here? We could get another set of warriors coming as well. Probably not a bad idea. I should start accumulating more ore, though. Let's queue up... ...this spot over here. 
kind of spreading like a line over here. And sure, let's get some more warriors coming as well. We've got enough resources to, to allow it. And let's choose our next piece of research. I think what we'll do is pull in the trusted slaves. It'll just take one turn. Increases the ore output of all output output of all alchemic quarries. Oh, the puns. Oh, the puns. Probably part of the reason why I enjoy the Warhammer universe so much is the puns. Right, these coot hounds are going this way. Oh, no. How bad is this going to be for me? Not too bad. Not too bad. But this is the stronger unit. This one's at full health and for some reason decided not to engage me directly. Not going to complain. Not going to complain. Um, It's too bad, though, because I'm going to waste shots over here. You guys fire away. And let's keep these guys over here in Overwatch, just so that when these guys move into range, I'll hit them at a better range. Okay, and over here, the metal body will never not be alien. Yeah, I, I guess that's part of it as well. I feel bad for the Necron. It's, like I said, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse. Blessing and a curse. All right, let's choose our next piece of research here. Uh, teleport to cities and monoliths. Maybe, maybe not a bad idea. Let's give ourselves the Cryptek. Let's unlock the Cryptek so we can actually start recruiting it as soon as we uh, build our little hero temple. Oh no, this is not going to be good. This won't be pretty. Oh. Well, the good thing is, uh, you know, they don't actually die, question mark, based on how it's supposed to work for the Necron, right? They don't, they're not really dead. Okay, let's nudge down here to make some room and fire away. Phew. All right, there we go. Good shooting, good shooting. There's, uh, there's one particular um, beast, local, like, animal or whatever we want to call it, barbarian. It's just the term I'm used to because of, uh, of civilization. Wow, what's going on here? What are you, why are you stuck down here for? Let's move you over here. Um, but yeah, there's one particular one which looks like a caterpillar. I think. Or maybe, I think it looks like a scorpion, actually. Can't remember right now. That thing scares the crap out of me. That thing will destroy, like, three units in one turn. So I'm hoping to come across that. Alright, let's uh, return fire. This should be, yeah. That's the end of this. Done and done. And over here, let's get you... Oh, really? Okay, no. Let's hold position until you're healed. And why are we blocked? What's going on over here? There's no reason that we should be blocked over there, as far as I can tell. But that's fine. Slowing me down a little bit. But, wow, perfect timing. We have waited millennia. We'll wait a millennia more. Cryptech available. Let's get that rolling out as soon as possible. Let's move you up over here. And let's get... Every building except the headquarters requires one population to operate. So this is why population matters. You want to make sure you've got enough room to actually develop and uh, and grow your cities. And look at, look at the cities as well. It's pretty cool how the cities grow and it actually reflects the faction that you're playing as. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, let us get... I mean, should we get some Tomb Blades coming out? Or I think what I want to build soon is the... Uh, where to go? Where to go? The Royal Pyramid. It's like five turns. Two turns, we'll unlock this. So that's cool. Let's get some Tomb Blades coming out. It'll take three turns. That's not too bad. And let's get some of you as well. And let's pop that Rapid Rise just so we can complete Chapter 1. Scourge of the Old Ones. We've got that 50 energy. Now, the next objective is to kill three scattered units. The living have spread across this world like weeds, particularly the virulent humans, the Old One's final curse, whose primitive dwellings cover the surface. Enslave them if you can, exterminate them if you cannot. Mm, yes, definitely, definitely. All right, let's keep pushing on up over here. Lots of Imperial ruins. I wonder what the Imperial story is on, on this planet. Okay, this looks like it's all going to be mountains across... Oh, actually, there's a settlement here, I guess. Uh, I should probably collect myself and move in that direction. Or am I supposed to destroy these wire weeds? All right, let's choose our next piece of research. Let's get ourselves... Mm. It's not a bad idea to do some of this stuff, but I also want to take a look at things like the Annihilation Barge. Oh, man, Scarab Hives. Efficient reanimation protocols increases the healing of reanimation protocols. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. 
Now the Cryptek here is a support hero. The Destroyer Lord is a, I believe it's a melee hero. So let's go with the, let's, re let's research the Destroyer Lord so I can get that out as my first hero. And uh, that's the turn. Ah, more Crute Hounds. Wasting my time and energy. Oh, they're actually going to make it. Come on now. Drop those hounds. Come on. Exterminate them. Do not fear mere dogs. Oh my god. It just blows up and dies. Alright, if we get some more shots off, we still won't be able to kill it. But that's uh, not the end of the world. Now, I don't want to spend 37 influence just to restore hit points over here. We can just hold position after we take care of these hounds. So let's just fire away. Deal with these hounds over there. Done. Almost. Very close to it, at least. Over here, let's keep moving. Oh, of course, that's a dead end. All right, fine. So let's pull up this way. Let's get you guys up to here. Wow. Lots of hounds. I don't like this. Two on one. I mean, I wonder if these warriors will survive. Okay, we're okay. What do we have here? I could get some more warriors coming. In two turns, I'll have Tomb Blades. Sure, might as well get some more warriors as well. Get a good spread going on. I'm a little worried about our ore situation. Not gonna lie. But in one turn, this will free up and then we can build the alchemic quarry. That'll almost balance us out. We'll go from, we'll have plus 6.6, .6, so that, that'll get close to balancing us out. We're getting precariously low, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oof, more hounds. That's a lot of hounds. Right, fire away. Can't wait to get the Tomb Blades out. Can't wait to just see all these units in action. Oof. That's the best part of uh, video games. Can't say movies because we haven't had any good official 40k movies out there. What was the one? Uh, Space Marines? Ultramarines? I forget what it was called. But boy, that was not pleasant. Let's fire with you guys first. We'll destroy some of them. Okay, good stuff. Then we'll move these guys in to clean up. Make sure at least one of these crew hounds have been taken care of. Oh, come on, really? That's far from ideal. Over here, we could fire away. There was another one up here, which I'm a little nervous about, but let's do that. We'll send these guys up to support over here as well, and we should be fine. All right, all systems operational. I should hope so. We didn't take any damage. Ooh, there's an ore field. We'll claim that. I wonder if there's another Necron tomb somewhere over here. I would like that very much. Ah, dead end, as, as I suspected. We will over here, we could build. All right, now it's time for the alchemic. Where is it? I need to start recognizing these symbols. There we go. Or the ore symbol is is what produces ore. So let's get that going. Three turns. That's not too bad. In three turns, yeah, we'll be okay. I would like to build another one, actually. Maybe I should cancel this. Let's cancel that. It's just not ideal. I'm getting pretty low, and I should be a bit more wary of that. All right, the city has grown. I need to consider building... Some living quarters as well. Some shelters, rather, I should say. Alright, fair enough. Let's end the turn here. Let's try and clean those ore fields as well. In comes some more Crute Hounds. Took some damage over there. We're responding up there, though. Hopefully these guys get dropped. Oh, that was a that was a good set of rolls. We'll be able to respond to that, no problem. Not concerned about this. A bit more concerned about this situation. All right, we've got the Destroyer Lord available now. Hopefully we'll finish that temple soon. Maybe I'll queue it up before I, so I don't forget. The Royal Pyramid, I mean. Let's get that. Sure, let's get that happening over here. Queue it up, two turns for this to finish. I could spend, probably not a bad idea to use Rapid Rise right now. Yeah, let's get us there faster. All right, fire away and finish this thing off. And you guys can hold till healed. Let's get you. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. There we go. I want to see how they move. <laughs> the sound effect is so nice as well. I'm loving it. So far, so good. So far, I'm pretty happy. We're, we're going through the honeymoon phase right now, me and this game. All right, what units are left to order? Oh, we can fire from over here. beauty 
gun him down. Did he just do a little celebratory twirl over there? That's what that looked like. Okay, we're able to push into here, claim the ore field for ourselves. I don't know, that helped a lot. Air quotes a lot. Let's get you moving up as well. Again, we want to try and keep these guys together. If we get outnumbered like that, we want to make sure our bases are covered, metaphorically speaking. Um, yeah, we're not going to build anything else right now. I need to get ore rolling in before I do anything else. What else shall we do here? I could... Hmm. The armor of Tomb Blades, maybe it's... Or we get the Annihilation Barge happening. I'm just so tempted to see my, uh, see my units out and about in action. Um... Let's give ourselves... Hmm. Increases the production output of hypostyle temples. Let's do that just so we're putting units out faster, I think. All right, there we go. That's the turn. More recruit hounds coming in. Ah, I see, I thought so. Good stuff, we'll get the shots in. And hopefully these guys will be able to shoot as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. The damage they're going to put out is going to be minimal now. I can't imagine they'll destroy anything. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll gun them down right away. We'll gun them down right away. Oh, really? It's going to take two shots? Fine. Fire away. And our Tomb Blade can now move forward and kind of explore as well, which is nice. They've got the better range. All these Arctic Hounds. You know what I should do? I should probably... Okay, here's the plan. So you guys, let's move you up here. And fire down here. Get rid of that. These guys will move up over here. These guys will fire first. These guys will fire second. And that'll be the end of these Coot Hounds as well. Huh. <laughs> the effects didn't play there. So, uh, I think this is still an early... So this is still an early access. Um... So keep that in mind when we start spotting little, like, bugs and issues here and there. Just something to keep in mind as we see little flaws here and there. Stuff that I will probably, you know, make note of or pay attention to when I'm doing my final review, obviously. But, uh, we finally have plus one ore, which is nice. We're getting the Royal Pyramid. Part of me wonders if that's the right move right now or if I should... Five turns? No, I don't think that's the right move right now. Let's actually construct or rather acquire another tile over here. Get some more ore flowing in. Plus one is really not enough to make me comfortable. Uh, we're also working on increasing our loyalty, I think, so that should help. Okay, let's end the turn there. These guys will go down south to check that pip down here. Everything else will go up. All right, stuff. Let's uh, choose our research first. Where is... There we go. Let's increase our loyalty. That should help with our ore situation as well. Now, what's the deal here? Let's roll you guys up first. Are we just trying to... Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. That doesn't concern me. Let's see. Let's move you guys up to... Here. And let's get you right up to here. Really? Tempting fate like that, Guardsman? Here's my response. Come on. Yes! As long as we killed at least one, I'll feel good about being so, uh, so cocky about it. Alright, in that case, if that's what we're facing at each of these pips, let's get these warriors to pull down south over here in this area and, and wipe out whatever Guardsmen are over here. And that should be pretty easily handled, I think. Uh, this? How do I get to this one? Oh, I see. I have to go through the arid Gelasol over here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not the end of the world. One more turn until we were done acquiring. I'm, I'm hesitating to build anything else. Don't want to go into a deficit. Yeah. Let's end the turn over here. Oh, dear. Poor guys are dropping. I'm a little worried about these ambles coming in. Oof. Down goes one of our warriors. Foul guardsmen will fall. You will perish before the might of my dynasty. You will perish. Alright, let's get the tomb blades in here. 
shoot into their backs. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Alright, let's get you lot. I'm a little concerned about these ambles, as I was saying. They're a little bit on the heftier side. Just have to be wary. Okay, let's pull up over here. Pull you back over here and pull you back to the ore field. Let's claim that. Let's see where the uh, ambles go. We'll hopefully be able to hit them. Let's pull you back to here. Let's pull you... Mm. Let's keep them here for now. Maybe the uh, guardsmen will roll in in our path and we'll be able to use Overwatch to just gun them down. All right. Now the city here. Oh, by the way, I should actually make quick mention that anytime you discover a new unit or a new feature or anything, you can actually click on the note and you'll be able to see, it'll take you to the compendium article where we can see exactly what is written about them, what their attributes are, or in the case of features, you can see what it does, what the purpose is, things like that. So just a heads up, if you get notifications, you can actually use that. All right, we've got this tile now. Should we build another ore mine over here? An alchemic quarry, rather, I should say. Our energy is okay, and our research is fine for now. Um... Let's go with the Royal Pyramid. And then we'll build the ore over here. And that should be okay. Again, we're fine now because we're at least earning ore. We're gaining ore, rather. So I'm okay with uh, building something else now, which, again, when it's done, the upkeep is going to take us below our numbers. Okay, that's that. I don't want to order anything else out of here. Yep. Yeah. The notifications, and that's the turn. See what these guardsmen want to do down here. Nothing. You cowards hiding from me. They know I'm coming for them. All right, let's push you up over here. Ah, oh, damn. Not within range. That's fine, that's fine. We can move in. All right, let's get you over there. Let's get you... Ooh, what's this? Ah, just Imperial Ruins. Let's get you up to here. Let's get you up to here. Crew Hounds and Ambles. Okay, fire away. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> so as I was saying, some of these some of these individuals get rather terrifying. Some of these like local units, so to speak, get uh, get pretty terrifying. I will right, skip this again. End the turn. What are you gonna do? Oh dear. Oh dear. See what I mean? That was not ideal. That was far from ideal. We finished the Baroque Shrine, which is great, but now I want to get uh, some spiders coming out. There's another Necron Tomb over here. I definitely want to claim it. We've also grown. Our population is maxed out, so that's a problem. We need to fix that situation. Oh, there's so much happening. All right, let's get the Canoptic Spider happening first. Let's research it at least. Over here, let's keep... Now, what is the deal here? I guess the first time I went, I must have gone this long way. I'll keep you over there for now. Over here, let's move in and try to strike these things. Are our weapons rapid fire? They are. So we might as well move in up close, get that extra damage output. So roll on in, fire away, hopefully cause a decent bit of damage. Oh boy, we're not going to take this down for like a couple turns. I think maybe one more turn it'll last. Okay, that's that. Over here, we can get you to here fire from that point-blank-ish range. Come on now. There we go. At least one of them's down. Will these warriors be the heroes of the dynasty? Why does life persist? I love these, like, um, existential crises that are happening on the battlefield. Alright. Did a decent bit of damage. We reduced their damage output. Get another set of shots in here, I think. Should I use the Necrodermis Repair? For these hit points. Nah, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Resistance is annoying. Excellent writing. I agree. I concur. Let's keep you over here. And, alright, we need to build some shelters. So we'll build a shelter here and something for the ore. Yeah, let's do that. Shelter, and then we'll build the uh, the alchemic quarry. 
I'm wondering if I should be building more units as well. But our upkeep is already... Or our ore is already at just plus two. Once that temple's done... Oh, there's more ambles. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. We need to fall back. I think I need to fall back. Let's at least kill one of them. Right? At least kill one of them. I mean like one unit, not an individual like that. Are we able to get enough damage in? Oh, really? Just short, eh? Well, we should be fine here. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Now, what about these ambles? We eliminated one, so that makes me feel a bit better. Maybe let's keep ourselves ready for the worst here. I could pull this unit up over here and not fire, stick an overwatch. Let's stay here. Let's stay close to the tomb blades just so I can move them into an ideal position, I think. So let's skip this unit. Skip. Or rather, let's get you up here. Oh god, there's Kroot Hounds back there as well. I'm taking too many risks. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. Fire away. Might as well get the advantage. Or hope for the advantage. I hope those Kroot Hounds don't engage. And I hope these Ambles just keep <laughs> minding their own business and heading down south. Alright, who's left? You're left. We're going to keep you in Overwatch. Down here. These guys are still moving. Keep these guys in Overwatch. So that's fine. Skip them. And the city. How are we doing here? Two more turns until this pyramid is done. It's nice to see the stuff being constructed. It's nice to see sprawling cities that actually sprawl. All right, here we go. Oh no, here we go. All right, good hits? Not really. Oh, I need to fall back badly. For all time, curse the deceiver. Okay, Canoptic Spider, cool. Monster support unit. It does have weapons, that's cool. It can work in melee, that's neat as well. And I think, perhaps more importantly, it can found cities, which, uh, which I intend to do very soon. Oh, that's neat. So it does have uh, the ability to repair nearby Scarab Hive. What do you do? Spawn Canoptic Scarabs, yeah. And then I guess Scarabs can fight as they should be able to. Cool, I'm liking it. Fits the Canoptic Spider. Fits my memory of the Canoptic Spider. Okay, we need to pull back into safety. Let's just creep away ever so slightly here. Let's get you... Well, let's get you back first because you can get furthest. You back to here, you back to here, and you back to here. There we go. There we go. And let's get you... Kind of tempted to move up there instead to help against these ambles if they give chase, but no, no, no. Let's get let's take care of the Imperial Guard down here first. They cannot live so close to my... Uh, my founding settlement. Oh, I got a little too close there. Got a little too adventurous. You're gonna shoot at me? I'm gonna shoot at you. It's that simple. Come on. Get those Gauss Rifles firing. There we go. One's dead. These guys, the backup is, is nearby. It's close enough. It's close enough. All right, one more turn until the pyramid's done. Then, oh my god, do we do the shelters first? Sure, we can barely afford to do the shelters before we do the, uh... <laughs> the quarry. What shall we research next? I think we can get ourselves... I mean, we could get the, uh, the scarabs happening. Or we can get the Fabricator Claw Array. Not a bad idea to use the Spider as a support unit to keep my stuff alive. Or then, of course, there's also the Annihilation Barge. Three turns. Yeah, let's go with the Annihilation Barge first. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to see, just want to see more in action. All right, let's end the turn here. Oh, really? Tossing grenades, are we? Causing a lot of damage, are we? Oh, those ambles are giving chase. This is not good. I do like the uh, the synchronized fire and stuff. Alright, we dropped one. That's nice. It just feels a bit more alive. That's always a problem I've had with games in this kind of genre and style, is that they feel so disjointed. I mean, yeah, they're turn-based. I get it. But there's little things that can be done to keep them feeling alive. Alright, can we actually take this down? All three of you fire. We might, we might just be able to. 
Especially if I roll these guys in. Let's do it. We didn't retreat. We tactically drew them into an ideal situation. We did not retreat. Let it be known. Fire away. The machine is strong, the flesh is gone. Sounds like a... <laughs> sounds like propaganda. Interesting. All right, let's see. Can I... Okay, these guys can't move in, but everything else can move in to a sort of point blankish range. I don't want to really get into the wire weeds, but I might have to take that risk for this mission. All right. Yeah, fire with these guys first. Okay, down with the sample. Done and done. Excellent. Now you... Okay, we're, this unit's able to get all the way in here. This unit... I don't want to push into the wide ways. We can push you up to here, which is... Good, that works. Let's push you up to here. Cause as much damage as possible. Fire and fire. We'll take a little bit of damage. I'm assuming it'll focus on this unit over here to try and eliminate these warriors. But that's fine. I do not fear these ambles, these local beasts. They are nothing compared to my might. All right, down with more of these imperial guards. I feel so bad for these guardsmen. They could have, they could have been my slaves instead, but no, they decided to fire first. Fools. For the record, not an actual mechanic. Before I lead to any confusion there. Now I could get the Canoptic Spider coming out. The upkeep cost is 1.5. We've got shelters coming in. That'll be an upkeep cost of 2. Oh, man. Let's cancel that. Let's get the ore coming first. And let's get a Canoptic Spider. The reason why is because I want the spider to settle at this Necron tomb. Um... There's a forest here, brush, volcanic, so there's, you know, there's ore to be had here, which I would like to take advantage of. Kind of wish I could find a Necron tomb close to one of these resources, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. I'll take it. All right, so that's that. And the thing is, I can also, just because I didn't mention it earlier, I can actually construct things from different buildings at the same time. And if I have multiples of the same buildings, then it'll speed up the uh, production, which is cool. I think we should spend our uh, our influence over here. It's growing at a decent rate. Let's spend some of this to speed up the Canoptic Spider. Get it out next turn. Move it up and get that uh, city founded. I think it's necessary at this point. All right, these ambles are going to roll in. Imperial Guard moving in as well. Took one of our warriors down. We will have vengeance for this. We will have vengeance for this. Fear not. All right. Reinforcements have arrived. Fire away. Fire away. Oh, <laughs> watch them drop. Down. Die! Die! Alright, excellent. Now up here, just gotta deal with these ambles. Oh, where do they run off to? Cowards. There they are. Not a problem. Ah, uh, we can't get everybody within range unless we go into the wire weeds. But we must be able to get the Tomb Blades in range. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get the show on the road. Death and destruction for these Ambles. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I love how much damage output they have, actually. Okay, good stuff. And hopefully the supporting fire will... Uh, just short of finishing them off. Just short of finishing them off. On the topic of supporting fire and re reinforcements, actually, I should mention, if you guys want to see more of this uh, game on the channel, the best way to let me know, as some of you will already know, is by dropping a like and a comment, just to let me know that you'd like to see more of it. If there is enough interest, I will do maybe daily or every other day episodes until uh, the game releases, or uh, maybe we try to figure out when we can live stream this so everybody can watch, it's at a proper time zone, and uh, everyone's having a good time. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below and uh, drop a like if you really want to see more of this game as well. Man, it's so cool. These animations feel top-notch. Feel fantastic. All right, two turns until this is done. Not going to spend the influence on it. That's fine. I'm wondering if... Not enough resources. I don't have enough influence to bring in any one of these. I wouldn't mind getting a Destroyer Lord in here. We'll have, we'll have the influence soon enough. The upkeep cost is ridic ridiculous as well, though. Right, 
skip that, clear the notifications, and end the turn. I'd like to found that second city this session. Oh, here come the hounds. Here come the ambles. Okay, minimal damage. Oh my god, 50% of my hit points. Not minimum damage at all. Ooh, Annihilation Barge. I want to get it out. We've got twin-linked Tesla Destructors, and we've got a Gauss Cannon. Oh, man. Living Metal, open-topped. Yeah, I'm aware it's open-topped. Skimmer. Oh, that's cool. All right, three upkeep. I wonder if I can destroy the Ambles with these Warriors over here. I should be able to. That way I can clean up these Kroot Hounds as well in the same turn, potentially. Yeah, these guys should drop. Go, go, go. Excellent. Now you can roll up over here and fire. Okay, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, how much damage can you do? That, if I move you in. Okay, so let's move these guys in here. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 that's not good. Okay, we need to drop the enslavers first. The enslavers will, if the name didn't give it away, enslave a unit and use it against you. We need to, we need to drop them first. Okay, good, good hits, good hits. Let's get you guys right up in here, firing away. To hell with these Kroot Hounds, they don't, they don't worry me at all. Come on. Okay, because the thing is, if they do enslave one of my units, if I'm able to destroy that, the enslavers themselves, it'll free up my unit, it'll become mine again. So I want to make sure that I cause enough damage so that even if it does manage to enslave something of mine, I'll be able to destroy it shortly after. Oh, that is not enough damage. I am concerned. Okay, these two, meanwhile, can roll back and move towards this point over here. Take care of that last unit of Imperial Guards to finish our Scourge of the Old Ones Chapter 1, or at least progress down that path. Oh, boy. Worried about those enslavers, damn it. This might not end well. <laughs> Would be a good way to cap off the session. Okay, one more. One more turn. I might need to build something for some more ore if the spider doesn't get up there quickly. And let's research for ourselves. Mm. I wonder if I should get this so we can start growing these cities a little bit larger. Or if we should go with the scarab hive just so we can start building scarabs. The choices of the choices. Okay, first of all, let's get the Dimensional Corridor. We're about to found a second city, and I want to be able to recruit in this settlement where we already have a lot of high-tier structures, and I want to be able to teleport over to this other set, uh, settlement. That'll cover so much ground in, like, one turn. I imagine it's one turn. Again, I haven't played, but I imagine it's one turn. Oh, okay, good. They're backing up. That's good. That's good. I would hate to have my, like, Tomb Blades be enslaved. That would uh, not be ideal. Let's put it that way. Let's roll up to over here, try to kill these Kroot Hounds. Nice writing, nice writing. Okay, turn you around, fire here as well. Or do we focus in on these? Drop at least one unit. Okay, fire here first. Good stuff. Uh, I want to get to those Ruins of Vol as well. I can fire from here, or you know what, let's... uh. Let's move to here. Oh no, god damn it. I knew I was taking a risk. I knew I was taking a risk. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to fire into these guys over here and these guys over here. There are so many Kroot Hounds. Okay, let's get the spider moving up here. I like the little sound effects as well. Very nicely done. Okay, let's move you up. Let's move you up. Let's skip, I think. Um, actually, we've got enough ore coming in now, so that's nice. Let's build ourselves. Oh, damn. 90. So in a, in three turns, roughly, we'll have enough influence to get a Destroyer Lord coming in. The other option is to get a Crypt Tech coming, but I, I do want that Destroyer Lord. Instead, let's get ourselves an Annihilation Barge. Six turns. That's fine. I can, I can wait that long. I can wait that long. Let's clear our notifications. See what's gonna happen here. As long as some ambles don't show up. Oh dear, that's not good. That was a fair bit of damage. 
taken there. Dimensional corridor completed, excellent. Man, okay, this is this is far from ideal. All right, I should be able to drop both of these pretty easily, and this one will survive, unfortunately, unless I can come in and get some support in from the Canoptic Spider. So we'll see some action for that spider. I'm tempted to fall back and fire, but it'll probably survive if I do that. So let's just fire. We'll claim that next turn. Fire away. Fire away. There we go. Beautifully done. And now these hounds as well. Yeah, I'll need to fire with both of them. Down with you. I said down with you. These aren't crew hounds. Those are groks, which are an adorable cow variant of the 40k universe. Okay. Over here, we can pop shots as well. Pew, pew, there we go. Down, down, down. And we'll get the uh, spider coming in to provide the finishing touch. Move in towards the tomb as well, of course. Alright, let's see what the attack animation looks like over here. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't even care that we didn't kill it. That was, that was cool. Came in slicing and dicing. I love it. Alright, let's move up through the river and around. I guess we... I guess I missed it earlier. I guess we were all, always going around the, the river there. Now, over here... Let's get these shelters going at the same time while we wait. Yeah. Skip the rest of it. Choose our research. Next up, I think we go with... Uh, let's give ourselves... This is always the... This is the thing, I don't know if I should be moving further down and getting into things like Doom Scythes, you know, sooner rather than later. Or if I should, uh... Stay back and strengthen what I already have. Let's go with the Scarab Hive. I'd like to see some Scarabs rolling out and about. Get some more spiders out there as well. Alright, that's the turn. That Crew Hound, I think, is... no. It, it is shaken, but it's not gonna just give up. It's not just going to roll over and ask for belly rubs. That's fine, you don't frighten me. Down with you. And over here we're going to claim the Ruins of Vol as well. See what they hold for me. Powered Gauntlet. Cool, so now we have the Powered Gauntlet, and then we have the Lightning Gauntlet as well. I just need heroes to give them to, because uh, that would be great if I, could, if I could just get the heroes to give them to. Um, I'm wondering if... Oh, this will be nice. This will help my uh, influence as well. Wondering if I should push out or if I should kind of sit back and... and, and like, hunker down a bit, and replenish health and hit points. I have to scout to make sure I'm not about to get ambushed over here as I found this city. Now, cities can defend themselves. Again, if you're familiar with uh, civilization, they have, like, defensive capabilities, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, let's move the spider in and found our second... world or city um i mean this is the only spot we have we can't just pick and choose so let's go Tan heka cool yep 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 accumulated and shared globally of course yeah okay just want to make sure that wasn't different from the usual so there we go we've got um some options here we're making a lot more now as far as ore is concerned we could Start acquiring tiles right away, move towards research first, and then ore production. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's acquire this tile, build a library there, and who else have we got moving? Let's get you over here. Let's get you over here. All right. Just got to take care of the uh, Imperial Guard over here, and then we'll be good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to... Yeah, I am able to rename settlements as well. So that's something to think about, too. If we want to start getting into the world of renaming settlements, I don't think I can... Yeah, I can rename our warriors as well. So anytime warriors perform exceptionally well, we can name them. We can give them, you know, some glory, some honor. And as many of you who watch my other Let's Plays know, already know, I love to roleplay and actually pay attention to my various units and how they're doing and how they're performing and trying to keep them alive, things like that, so... It, uh, it most certainly is something I'm going to care about. Something to think about, something to do, perhaps. That's that. Let's skip the rest of it over here. I think there's not much else I'd like to construct. We've got the shelters being built. It'll take four turns. Wait, 
what did I... Oh, I think making... I think building the uh, city cost me. Damn. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Not the end of the world. Oh, more recruit hounds coming in. Why are we rolling all the way up here? Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice of direction game. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just slowly stumbling upon worse and worse enemy types over here. Alright, that's not a problem. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We can get right up in their face. We can fire away. We'll be fine. Except they've got backup in the form of Coot Hounds. Hmm. I'm sure I'll be able to take them down anyway. They might actually... One individual might survive. These guys are way too far back to provide that support that I need. But uh, we'll be okay. I think. But we'll have to find out next session we have hit that hour mark let me know if you guys are enjoying this game what you guys think about it so far of course you're only seeing necron action from me and i think many of you suspected that when uh, if you already knew about this game but uh, do let me know what you think about this game let me know if you'd like to see more as i mentioned earlier if you would drop a like drop a comment and we'll keep this going until launch and then we'll find a nice spot for it in our schedule i might also as i mentioned consider live streaming this if you'd prefer that let me know in the comments down below again if you're interested in purchasing the game, I've got links in the top right corner under the I, down in the description below as well. And as always, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'd like to thank my patrons as well for their monthly support. Every month it comes in and it makes an absolutely massive difference. So thank you all very much. And from this world that I hope to conquer as the Necrons, I bid you all farewell and cheers. <laughs>